Hey everybody, it's Christina from Creations with Christina and welcome back to our second tutorial in the Silhouette Studio software. Today we're going to be going over um, our library as well as the Silhouette store and setting up account with the store. Um, let's start with the store first. The first thing I want to show you is how to um, import your, sorry that was my phone, how to import your uh, silhouette files, the free ones, if you have the older, I had the SD free files and I wanted to get the Cameo files which has the little keypad for your Cameo, what you would do is click where it says Silhouette Studio and select Preferences and under the Advanced tab there's a section right here, um, this one says Restore the Initial 51 Designs I think it says something about Cameo, I can't remember off the top of my head so you would just click that and select OK and it would download your images and they'll show up in your library but I'll show you that in a little bit. So right now we are at the Silhouette Store and the Silhouette Store is the little mouse uh, what looks like a computer mouse and there are a couple different things you could do. The first thing we're going to do is subscribe and um, save right here and this is where you're going to set up your account. There's two different options you can go with. There's a pay-as-you-go which means that for every file you buy for 99 cents you just pay with your credit card or however you decide. And then there's the subscription plans and they're broken down into different categories and different amounts. And um, I have the deluxe plan which I purchased at 25% off when they were having a sale. So for the $14.99 I get 50 images a month. And you would just click over here to create your free account or subscribe now. Um, but basically I wanted to show you some a couple of things in the Silhouette store. So the S up in the upper right hand corner, I just consider that my home button. So I just click there. Every Tuesday they give you a free image. So um, it would be usually be flashing here. And then they also have a weekly clearance, which um, is mostly 50, uh, 50 cents. I don't think I've ever seen anything other than 50 cents. And these are all the images that you would get. Uh, they offer every week. Um, they change, like I said, every Tuesday as well as the free image. They also offer weekly new designs and on the side here you can find your designs from previous weeks and there's also filters where you can search all of the items just ones that are the regular cut they have ones that are print and cut and they break it down even further from there you can also go ahead and look at popular designs these are the ones that people are downloading the most you can browse all of the designs and on the side here in the categories you can select different things. If you were looking for maybe a birthday and you wanted to click on holiday, you can select birthday and these are all images that are geared towards birthday. They also have where you can browse by artist and they have um, a couple different ones. Uh, Lori Whitlock is one of my favorites. Um, Echo Park, I love Echo Park basically because all of their designs, most of them coordinate with some of their paper collections. Um, I just noticed they recently came out with the designs that go with the Yours Truly paper collection. That's the one that just came out for Valentine's Day. And if you go through this, you'll see other ones from other paper collections. So these are from some of their Christmas collections. And, you know, they have their Halloween collection. So let me just go to the first page because I want to download maybe one or two of these Yours Truly, Yours Truly um, collections. You can do a couple of different things. Um, you can click the image and it'll take you into the detail of the image. And you can either, if you were looking to purchase this, you would just click on Add to Cart. Or if you want to add it to your wish list, you would click Add to Wish List. And in the upper right hand corner, it says My Wish List. And you'll see these are all of the items that I have in my wish list, including the Yours Truly. Truly, I can't say that today. <laughs> um, if you want to move this now over to your cart, I like using this especially if I'm not going to check out right away because um, if you put it in your cart and you leave Silhouette Studio, or Silhouette Studio, you lose your images. So I always try to use the wish list and then move it over if I have to. So I'm going to move this one to my cart and you'll see now up here in the top it's went from zero to one item in my cart. I'm just going to go ahead and click that and I'm going to check out. It's going to ask me for my password. So now my recent downloads shows my image that I just downloaded and what I can do now is move this image into one of the categories that I created on the side. To create a category you just right click where it says my library 
right click, create a new folder, and say we were going to name this to be, I'm just going to call it test for now. And if I wanted to, I can click my image from my recent downloads and just drag it and drop it right into my test folder. So now when I click on my test folder, it shows that that's my image. And you can see I've done that with a couple of other things. I have like a birthday folder, borders, um, cards. I have one month, I think because I downloaded this before Ethan's birthday is in February. So I have ones for shapes and I have ones for my print and cut. If you were in the Silhouette Studio store, you would see the little P next to it. That means that it's a print and cut option. So you would look for that when you're in the store. Um, some of my categories I broke down, um, I started to break down, like this one. See, it has a little plus sign next to it. What I did was, is when I right click, I created a new folder and I'm creating a subcategory. So we're going to call this Test Christmas. And now I have a folder, a test folder, or if you wanted to name it, whatever, uh, in there that I can move. Like, for example, I have Christmas and Winter. So I can move my Christmas ones into one folder. You'll see that change. And then I can move my winter ones into another folder. And they'll all be under the same category. So it's one category with a subcategory. I'm just going to right click on my test one and hit delete because I don't want to keep that. And then I want to go down to my test folder I created before and move yours truly, truly into my Valentine's Day folder. And now I can go ahead and delete my test folder. So I just wanted to show you that. Um, one more thing I wanted to show you is Carrie Bradford. Carrie Bradford website is fantastic. I'll put a list, link to her website as well as um, a link to some of her tutorials on uh, the de description of this video and also on my blog. Um, but what I love are her kits. She has great kits. Um, she makes them uh, silhouette ready so they come in the files that you need them to be to just put them right into your silhouette program. And what I do is I break hers down into, I have one folder for Carrie Bradford and then underneath that I have all my different folders for all my different kits. Um, if you've been with me for a couple months you know that back in the fall I did one for Autumn and she has a, it's called the This and That Autumn and basically what it is is a set of files that she created to go with the Seven Gypsies um, uh, printer's trays. And she has it so all you have to do is cut your image uh, images out in whatever cat sections that she, you know, she hasn't broken down by color and stuff like that. Um, but then she also gives you the regular cut files. So I created a subcategory under that category for my regular cut and then my um, tray files. And I did the same thing with the Halloween one. I have the regular cut and then I have the tray files. So you can really break this down into different um, categories. Another way you can do to find something is come up here to the top where it says search and type in your search term. So I'm going to be playing with this boys will be boys. I'm just going to double click it to add it to my mat. And you can see that it came in in its own size. If you wanted to change the size, you can do that just by going to open the scale, which is up here in the upper right. and we're going to select our image that we're going to change. We're going to change this, say we wanted to change it to five and a half inches. You can either type in the number or use the arrows. I'm going to lock the ratio so that it keeps both of these proportionate. And it'll change my image down to five and a half. If you wanted to create a shadow feature, this is just a quick little tip for you. If you wanted to create a fat shadow feature to this, you can either right click and hit the uh, select offset or you can come down here to the bottom Whoop. my uh, icons on the bottom are getting in the way and hit the one that looks like a target that's your offset option and you can see it automatically created a shadow right around here also opened a window on the side here where you can change how big or small you want the offset and then you would just hit apply and now you can separate these. So that's our regular cut. This will be my shadow cut. I'll just move that down here like that. When you're ready to cut, and I should have mentioned this in the last video and I didn't, um, so I'm going to make 
uh, cutting a little bit clearer for you. I didn't mention that when you are cutting um, and changing your blade on the Silhouette software, you actually have to go to your cutter and also change the blade there. So I'm going to do File, Send to Silhouette, and you'll see my window pops over here. And I'm going to do Change Settings. And right here where it has the Adjust Your Blade, if you moved your blade at all, you actually have to go to your machine and change your blade setting to five. It's not, not you can't. It's not going to automatically tell from the, the um, program, the blade to change to five. You actually have to go and do that. So, when you are ready, you would just hit Send to Silhouette, do Cut Page, and it would go ahead and cut your images. All right, that's all for today. I'll see you next time on our next Silhouette Studio tutorial. Thanks for watching.